Welcome to my Tantric Winter Meditation Journey. Talking about Tantric Meditation, there is in Tantra a Rahasya Vidhi where we meditate on a combination of wine and sexual fluids. But I want to explain this one to you properly because you know in Tantra nothing is as it seems and things have to be understood very carefully. So in Tantra as in any other philosophy we meditate on the concept of bliss of Ananda. The only difference is that we believe that this this concept of bliss has to be very personal to you. It has to be within your own experience because if you meditate on something that is really far away like some complicated theory of moksha that even you don't understand then the meditation is not going to be very effective. There's too much distance between you and there are too many things that can get in the middle and distract you. So your concept of bliss has to be up close and personal because remember you cannot borrow enlightenment. It has to be within your own experience. And so keeping that in mind the wine and the sexual fluids become the cause and the effect of bliss. So the wine is seen as the cause of bliss and the sexual fluids as the effects of bliss. The outer and inner essence of Lord Shiva. When they're placed together in a cup, they become the physical manifestation of bliss, something that the sadhak, that the practitioner can tangibly focus on. And the important thing to remember is this is not an orgy, quite the opposite actually, because this meditation can only be done under the very strict guidance of your teacher, your guru. And it is so calm, it is so controlled that even the wine that is used in this meditation is chosen according to the Shakti that will be generated. So in Tantra, we have three types of wine that we use for meditations. There is wheat wine, which is female in nature. There is molasses, which is masculine. And there is honey wine, which is gender neutral. It's Nipunsak. So the wine for the meditation is chosen according to the Shakti that is to be generated. The sexual fluids are placed inside the cup in the form of a tilak ritually they're not sprayed in they're not dropped in and you know what they say will defile this meditation what will make this meditation unclean if the sadhak has any kind of doubt in his mind if he has any kind of hesitation in his mind if he cannot be part of it fully and personally through his own experience that will make this meditation unclean so what should all this mean in terms of you and your meditation there have been a lot of questions asking what to focus on when we meditate. I want you to pick something from your life, from your personal experience, something that gives you great contentment. It doesn't matter what it is, whether it is of a sexual nature, whether it is of a material nature, none of that matters. Just make sure it is a personal experience and something that gives you great contentment. And this is what we are going to focus on. Play it through in your mind, almost like a movie. Focus on the little details, the, the sights, the sounds, even the smells, the tiny little movements. And I'll tell you what, every time you do this, you will come out of it feeling far more alive, far more energetic than you ever have before. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. See you in the next one.